National Forest. Um, now we're heading to the Lassen National Park to uh, the Pompous Hill. Very nice and lush and green. We'll probably stop by the visitor center. Hopefully it's open. If not, you know, they probably have brochures and a map. But we'll go from there. Emerald Lake, stop number five. Emerald Lake. After the Emerald Lake uh, little spot, uh, we're stopping at Bumpus Hill, Bump Pass Hill. This is our first stop, actual first stop. It's 2.6 miles round trip with the elevation change of 300 feet. Uh, it's said it's a level two difficulty. But I don't know. You're on a boardwalk most of the time. Uh, it's a really accessible trail. You'll see a bunch of hydrothermal, you know, geographics, and you know, see some geysers. Yeah. So we are currently right here, Lake Kellen, and on Bass Hill. Only problem is the trail is closed. It's probably because there's too much snow for them to clear up. But oh well. Maybe stop by Lake Helen too, see what that looks like. So stick around. says that there's fishing allowed on this creek. Um, take a look at that one more time. I don't think it has any special regulations. Let's see. All it says is five fish per day, no more than ten in possession. Uh, da -da -da -da. No possessing or using bait for fishing. Da -da -da -da. So, yeah, anything goes here. Use treble hooks, barbs, single hooks, spoons, lures. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna bring then. Sounds good. Um, and then you know, if I have to, you know, I can always pinch it down. You know, so just in case. Balls. Like roughly a mile and a half. Looks really nice. It's a little deeper, maybe like two feet, three feet right here. It's a 116 ounce mini jig with a maybe a 116 ounce uh, split shot. So So what I'm doing is I'm just bouncing it off the ground and letting it drift.
guys. We got a fish on. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at him. Oh my god. Look at that. It's a nice little brook or lake trout. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Watch this video. Caught it on a 1 16th ounce mini jig. It was the trout teaser I got from the Sierras from uh, Rick's Sporting Goods in Mammoth. Man, let's go. We're back at the car. Ah, Kings Creek, really nice, nice waterfall, nice viewpoint. Caught that fish, caught that trout, man. And as for what we're doing next, I don't know. It's, it is. 716. Uh, so this place we wanted to stay at, at Hack Creek, BLM land, is quite far. Probably about two hours. So it's gonna be we're gonna be driving after sunset. I don't know if we wanna do that. But we're still gonna last in Volcano National Park. I'll talk to the lady, see what she wants to do. If she wants to see anything else out here, we'll probably just find a camp campsite here. Good morning guys. Uh, it's the next day. 7.30 right now, roughly, and man, we found this really, really nice spot where there are tons of people who are camping, so you can look around, there's a bunch of RVs down there, RV, RV, and then near the entrance, there's tons of RVs, so right now what we're going to do, well, I'm the only one awake, I'm going to make a breakfast, and then, um, Check out the creek because you're camping right along Hat Creek, which is really nice. And you know, you can fish Hat Creek, the lower part, five fish per day. No special regulations. So stick around.
It might be a little too crispy. Cover that up for another minute or so, and then we'll be all set to go. Alright, guys, breakfast is all done. Uh, cooked, clean, put all our stuff away. Started at 7 30, it's 9 30. guys we're at McLeod. Angel and I got pretty lucky. We're at Fowler's campground so there's a few first come first serve sites. We're at site number 11. Fifteen dollars for the night. Nobody was here. No tags. No nothing. check out McLeod once the crowd dies down because there's tons of people at the lower falls so I would assume the middle falls will have tons of people as well but I'm gonna wait catch the evening bike stick around watch me take a nap it is currently 320 I'm gonna set up my rod uh, so for this part of my cloud this is two trout maximum per day. So, and then it doesn't say anything about barbless. Or it says artificial flies only, or artificial lures, actually. 
So anything goes. So I bought these small Rapalos from Amazon, thinking they were the two inch one, but they're not. Let me show you in just a moment. Take a look. These are the ones that I was trying to buy. These are floating. They don't have the little split ring on top. If it has a split ring, it's a sink ring. It's a countdown. But, yeah, I bought these thinking they were the two inch ones. But, they are one inch. But look at them. You're telling me a trout is not going to bite on that. Come on, be real. Let's go give it a shot. Let's try it down. A little deeper, a little calmer. Fish on! Fish on first cast. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Dude, on this one inch Rapala. Look at this. Wow. Look at this guy. Once I get you hooked, unhooked, you're free to go. Guys, that was the very first cast. Hooked up. Um, I'm not letting him go yet. I'm gonna wait till he gets some, enough strength, and then I'm gonna let him go then. But once he gets enough strength, see him splashing around, I'll let him go. Trout that I release, slam down. Told everybody, don't go for the Rapala. No luck at Middle Falls, other than one. So on our way back to the campsite, first cast. Look at this. Partners, let's see what looks like potential. Just gonna cast and let it drift. Oh, oh my god, first cast. Are you serious? Every spot I've been to, first cast. What is? Oh, oh, okay. This is one of those uh, red bands from McLeod only. Oh, man. All the trout that I've caught this whole trip so far, all wild. All wild. All right, buddy. Live to go nice and strong. He's just hanging out right there. But I, oh, I was gonna pick it back up. You right? All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Whoa, whoa. All right, guide. That's my guide. Oh, this is my guide, guys. Oh, oh, I'm on. I'm on, guys. Let's go. He's a fighter. Grab my net, babe. Can I get him? Yeah. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, that's a rainbow, guys. I haven't caught a rainbow in this water before. Whoa. It's a wild, wild rainbow. That's 
Oh, do something! Oh, hooks right up. You want a picture? Just, just fluff him up. I don't think Angel knows how to release fish. Got it? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. It's a little baby. What is this? Oh, another one of these. Look at them. So nice. Oh, hook popped right up. He's eating. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. No, he snapped my line. No. Yeah. He snapped my line. I don't know if y'all saw that. But that's, but the thing is lower falls isn't a hike. It's a big fish. No, he, he's coming, he's coming, he's, he's coming. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll bring him to you. Whoa. Oh, where'd he go? He's gonna he's gonna break off. I only have four pound tests. Oh, that's a big rainbow guys. Woo. Let's go. Y'all see that? Ooh. Calm waters for you, my friend. Thanks again. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Come on, buddy. There you go. Are you good? Are you sure you're okay? I'll put you right back in the net. I'll keep you. All right. He's swimming away. Very successful day. Those are some great pictures. Uh, maybe seven or eight. That includes Rainbow, Brooks, and that red band McLeod trout. Um, they were all kind of release. Mainly bit on the Rainbow Rapala, one inch countdown. Uh, and then the one six ounce Thomas Bowie red and gold. We're gonna make some dinner. Whoa, stop. No. Throw it. Stop it. I have no food.